Alright. You guys smell something fishy? <laughs> hey guys, so this time it's Japanese snack challenge. I'm going to try making Japanese squid chips. Yes, squid. <laughs> and thank you to Sakurak for sponsoring this video and give me an opportunity like this. I love this snack challenge. And this is the snack I'm gonna compare with. Oh, let's see how close I can get to this. Do you guys wanna try sniffing the squid? Ta da! I don't know if any of you would like to try making this at home, but you don't have to use raw squid. You can just use dry squid. All right, let's begin. Dry squid. Hmm? Where's the zip? Thanks, Brooke. Yep. 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 <laughs> and probably that. Tado! Sudume! Dry squid. You guys have crawled over the thing. <laughs> Okay. Smells good, doesn't it? <laughs> Next, butter, an egg, cold water. This squid chips is apparently flavored with red ginger, which is popular flavor in Osaka. Also, there's a little bit of Japanese ume, Japanese plum, Japanese apricot. So I'm gonna add some ginger and ume. Ginger, a bit more ginger powder. It smells gingery now. And flour and lightly mix. Okay. I'm gonna use kome abura, rice oil. <laughs> I know, it smells good. Yeah? I'm sorry, gotta go back to see. Go back to see. Yeah. Cut it with butter. Haha, <laughs> smells so good. It's very appetizing. Once they start bubbling a lot less, it's time to take it up. Looks good, smells good. Doesn't it look like the one you saw at Izakaya bar or just snack bag? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. If you're deep frying stuff, can you deep fry me veggies? <laughs> okay. Okay. It's not a snack, that's actual meal. <laughs> Let's have deep fried veggies. Let's have tempura for dinner. Okay, okay. So this time, I usually ask, Hi Poki, I hear you. <laughs> I can't have you as a judge. I normally have Rachel as a judge too, so that I won't like, you know, be biased. So, so, so yeah, bias and so it won't be. So it'll be fair, but because you don't eat, what was it? I don't eat cephalopods. Ce cef cephalopods. Cephalopods. Um, this time, you have to trust me. Squid chips. It looks. It looks good. It does look good. Yeah. I'm gonna compare this with Sakurako. Thank you to Sakurako for sponsoring this video. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box that lets you experience Japan from the comfort of your home. They partner with local Japanese snack makers to provide 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese tea and a special Japanese tableware. This month's kitchenware is a chidori soup bowl. This month's theme is these. 
Valentine's Bliss. They have special snacks this month, like the strawberry dorayaki, chocolate mochi, and kinako dumplings. It comes with a booklet that has information about all the snacks in the box and Japanese culture. This box makes a great Valentine's Day gift. If you're interested, use my code in the description to get $5 off of your first box. Alright, judgment time! Sakurako, Benishoga, Ikaten! Pogi's going! Pogi! 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 <laughs> on the left is Sakurako, on the right is mine. I waited for mine to cool down so that the temperature is similar. Uh, of course, when it's freshly made, tempura tastes way better. Okay, I guess I'll go with mine first, as usual. Itadakimasu! Oh! <laughs> okay, it's good for for your gum and dental care, I believe. Mm. It's very functional for that reason too. It's like the type of dental treats you get for your dog. <laughs> what <Okay. laughs> Um, It's been three minutes, I'm still chewing. Can you give me another three minutes? Maybe that was just that one piece. Maybe the others are okay. Nope. Oh, sorry, I stole your seat, that's why. You guys can sit together. I don't know how. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna try and start critical. Oh, that's what I expected. My very first. <laughs> I love the flavor. It's very, very different. Oh. Mmm. The Ben Shoga ginger is definitely doing a great job. Like. When you eat deep fried or anything heavy, you want like a citrusy or a fresh flavor along with it so that it won't be too heavy. This one is flavored perfectly. Wow, Benny Shoga, Okay. I'm sorry for stealing your seat. And this is the sound it should make. Mmm, wow. Benishoga is like a red colored ginger, I think. Um, I think it oftentimes comes with a yakisoba, like home, um, like store-bought pre-made yakisoba. And it goes well with the yakisoba too, but it really goes well with squid too. It's good chips. <sighs> this is easy. This is by far way better. And yeah, I don't know how they did it. I, maybe they flattened the squid very, very like, thinly deep fry it maybe longer or with higher temperature. It's a lot crispier and flavored. Amazing. Whereas you made dental chews. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's not chips. What is it? Squid jerky? Squid jerky. Squid jerky. Okay. This time it was a horrible, miserable loss. I'm gonna treat myself with something sweet. <laughs> Isn't this time super cute? Oh. Yeah. And authentic green tea. Perfect combination. <sighs> okay, I feel better. Got so some of this stuff. So I heard that this combination of squid and peanut butter is like a worst kind. So I'm gonna try. What's so special about the squid smell? I don't know exactly how they make it, but I'm gonna just dip this squid into this peanut butter. There you are. Peanut butter gesso. <laughs> really? Not that bad? It's actually good to me. I like the balance of salty and sweet flavor. Combination. It doesn't taste bad to me. Really? Hmm. Well, I thought <laughs> in case this combination was bad, I wanted to try this out. But, okay. <laughs> Squid chips with peanut butter. Oh. Yeah, it's it's good. <laughs> what? Putsunyu mayo. 
え美味しいけどいや、this one for sure it's pretty good if you like peanut butter this is good this time miserable epic fail but、um, I really appreciate this opportunity and I'm happy to try more challenges okay see you guys next time bye